missiles. They have fun. They fly through the air and then they cause an explosion. It's like the two great dreams of mankind rolled into one. And now we are going to destroy it. And that's how easy it is when you have the power of science on your side. So, um, something I need to show. Yeah, you see that ring of T-80 tanks around the Kremlin? We will be wanting to take care of those eventually. And not run head first into them. Because that would be bad. Yeah, I will. I mean, don't you worry about your ugly face over there. I have an incoming helicopter start from the northeast. I show one hip troop chopper with a couple havocs and escort. Looks like they're hunting Yeltsin. Yep, no rest for the wicked. Now we have to take care of a helicopter attack. And not get smashed by missiles. <clears throat> okay, that's one helicopter down. And there is the hip. Doesn't look so hip to me. And to have a is inside the ring of tanks, so we are going to go. Try not to run right into those tanks and get blasted out of the sky. Yep. And that's the time critical part over and done with. Kremlin is, and um, by extension, Yeltsin is safe for the time being, or are safe. And there's a nice big profile of Lenin on, on the ground. So now we are going to do some sightseeing and blow up a couple of boats while we're at it quite and some bunkers. Bunkers are important for the tourism of Moscow. It's a remnant of Cold War era functional <coughs> architecture. Oh, sorry, I guess I should have called that functionalist architecture. But now we are going to actually. There it is. And that armored car and blow it up. For it holds gold. There's gold in the entire hill, so whatever. Drop it off here and. These trucks around this big building will run rush over. Now, why was it guarded in the first place? So let's do the logical thing and blow it up. So we can get civilians out completely unharmed. Because that makes complete sense. And drop them off over here. Actually, those civilians are the only hostages that show up on the map. But, and also are counted on the status screen here. But if you keep your eyes open, you can find some more civilians to rescue. For example, there's a couple right over here in this park. For some reason, they're a bit smashed on top of each other right now. But there's two of them. And that last guy is going to get to languish there for a while, while longer. 
let's see what should we do we do next okay that's enough armor for now well actually we are going to be taking care of the rest of these support points like the usual stuff i.e finding local valuables and hoisting them over in the hands of criminals because that's how the US military ah. Now oh, I forgot the word used there, because that's how we swing. Ah, whatever. And first we are going to be heading in this direction to the train yard. So not all. Oh, we have the... so many disasters, we keep repair kits on train. Go there. Get the light. We'll do Ivan. Is right there. Yay, now I have a life. And this long train car over here has more stuff. Big screen TV set. I think we'll be going for that drop off point to the northeast. We won't be heading towards the nearest one for tactical reasons which will be made obvious later. Okay, there it is. Now this one will actually lure out some of the tanks in the siege ring or what should I call it. And apparently the tanks for some reason were being driven by by people in dark blue business suits. Oh Okay. See, there's a sizable hole in the ring now. And let's go blow up the rest on the west side. Four shots from the science gun is all it takes. Okay, one more. And around here we have a little few more civilians to pick up. We could also use some more fuel. Actually, we have better take the fuel before we pick up that loot. Oh! Right on cue, there's an entire gas station. Oh wow, okay, you're looking so miserable, I'll pick you up. So, let's pick up the diamonds here. And now we are heading to the north point here. Lots and lots of... Hmm. Lots and lots of ammunition we won't be needing because we have the almighty science. Power of science in the Yeah, this drop of point is a bit different. As you can see, the enemy was already around the point, and now they are going to be heading away from it in order to go guard the strip. And here we have actually the zoo with. Actually, a rather small zoo which only seems to contain a few bears. And so, here are the armored, armored cars now, and I suppose they are going to be guarding that strip of road. Let's go drop off a few more of these people and blow up this building over here. Does that uncover? Absolutely nothing. I believe there should be something useful around here somewhere. This building, that building is like a woman. It looks innocent, but it hides many surprises. You're right about that, Ivan. It's another science gun. This is a downright science capit 